The Giza Plateau is one of the most iconic monuments of Egyptian history, but more specifically of the Old Kingdom. Modern scholars have Egyptian history conveniently divided into three kingdoms, Old, Middle and New, and several intermediate periods, which generally signal a time of transition. These kingdoms are themselves divided into dynasties, which are generally established based on the location of the center of power of the royal family. Again, it is important to point out that this is an artificial construction set up by modern scholars to compartmentalize the study of Egyptian history. This was based on the division made by Manitho in the ancient Egyptiaca, a book written by a Greco-Egyptian priest who lived during the Ptolemaic period, describing the history of ancient Egypt up to the Ptolemies. The Old Kingdom roughly corresponds to the years 2649 to 2150 BCE, encompassing the third to sixth dynasties. The main sources used for the study of this period are king's lists, such as the Palermo Stone, private and royal tombs and their inscriptions, and private and royal statuary. King's lists are important resources, not only for dating periods of rule, but also to establish the chronological order of rulers. The Palermo Stone in particular is the oldest surviving document of its kind. It gives us the names of the rulers from the early dynastic period to the fifth dynasty, covering most of what we now call the Old Kingdom. The Palermo Stone is also an important document since it provides information on royal and ritual activities and other historical events that royal ancient Egyptians deemed important. However, most of our information about the Old Kingdom comes from private tombs, from reliefs, inscriptions, such as autobiographies, and statuary. These tombs provide information on not only funerary beliefs, but also the lifestyle of the elite of the Old Kingdom and their relationship to the king, including some historical events. As for royal tombs, the most obvious examples being the Giza pyramids, they provide information on royal ideology and religious and funerary views of royalty. Surprisingly, royal monuments such as these pyramids are void of inscriptions until the advent of the pyramid texts in the 5th and 6th dynasties at the end of the Old Kingdom. It isn't clear when and by whom the Old Kingdom was actually founded. We will be discussing this issue in the next video, as well as mentioning some of the most important figures of the period. But you might be asking, why was Giza chosen as a royal and elite cemetery by the fourth dynasty kings? The choice of the site was not only related to its proximity to the capital city of the Old Kingdom kings, Memphis, but also to the fact that the site itself was a natural limestone quarry, which supplied the raw materials needed for the construction of the pyramids.